going to take you through the steps of working with one of our Canva websites. This is one of our commission landing pages. This is a straightforward one page website, as you can see here. And we are going to just customize this real quick together and then um, link everything up and publish this website. So here you would want to update your website, or excuse me, update your listings information. So you would enter the address here. And then we're going to update our photo. So you would want to upload your photos into Canva. So let's see, we would do that one. And then if it ever is like too far away and you want it to feel a little bit closer, you can just double click the photo, come up here to the circles and we're gonna pull out just to make it zoom in a little bit. We wanna see this house. This is your listing. So we wanna show it in the best way possible. Okay, and then we're gonna update with the interior photos. Again, I'm double clicking. That is right in my way. Okay. And then let's see. I always get picky because I want them to match. <laughs> and then we'll do that one. Okay, you could also do Um, you could do video. If you had a video walkthrough of a house, you could actually just drag and drop that over the photo and it would then insert that. Um, and then if you come over here and if you want to do any type of animation to that or anything like that, you can. Here is where you would update the commission information. So if it was only, let's say 2.5%, you would do that there. Okay. Now these are already grouped together. If you would like to change the words on them, then you would click here and ungroup. So now each element is its own. And then you could change this to um, inspection. And then you're gonna want to group these back together. So that way, when we link these, they will um, it'll link the entire button because these are all technically different buttons for people to click on, okay? And then this is a different button as well. So then you would update your photo here. Let's see. Okay, let's say that's you, background remover. Great, and now I always like to kind of bring the sides in because that will just kind of tighten up our design a little bit so that way we're not overlapping elements much. Okay, delete our fake woman here. Put this lady in. This is you, right? So we're gonna put you in. I would maybe make it a little bit smaller. Okay, and then you're gonna wanna put your logo there. So I'm just gonna pretend like my logo is your logo. And my brain, get my logo. I would say delete. Get my logo here. I would maybe even put it here. And since my logo is an SVG file, I can actually change the color of it. So I would maybe change it the same color as that or the blue. Okay, now we're going to insert an email. So it could be your email at email.com. Okay, so now it will, if it, once someone clicks there, they'll automatically open their email provider and then it'll email you. Done. Call me, we're going to click the link button. Again, if they click it, 
it can call you immediately in your website. And we'll just double check that, make sure it's all linked up. Yep. Great. Okay. Now that's all linked. And now you would do the same thing right here for um, all of your social media. If you don't have, let's say you don't have Snapchat or X, that's fine. Then you would just pull these in and watch this cool trick. I'm going to highlight all of them. I'm going to click on position and I'm going to say tidy up. This is going to space them at equal distance and make, just make it look a little bit cleaner. So then you're going to click it three dots, link it, and then you're going to paste your link to your profile on that platform. So TikTok, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, there we go. <laughs> so if uh, you can just delete and uh, move around, whatever you want, and link it there. Add your name and your brokerage. Okay, so now what we want to do is link our documents to our buttons since we already have our buttons down here in links. So here, um, this is how you can do this. I already have my Google Drive open here. I'm gonna do a new folder and this is going to be main, main Street, whatever your address is, okay? So we're going to do that. Now I'm gonna open up my folder and on here, whatever it says here are the documents we want. So we really want a PDF. You can download this information out of DocuSign or .loop, whatever you want. So I have some PDFs, but we're gonna pretend like are these four things, okay? So I'm gonna come to my computer and I am going to pick the um, four documents that I said, they are all downloaded as PDFs individually. So I'm gonna upload them to this folder. And as you can see, they're just all filing in here. Okay, so now we have all of our listing documents in our named folder. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to click on the first one. Let's say this one is our property disclosure. And we're going to right click here and we're gonna share copy link. We're gonna manage access. And um, we're going to, anyone with the link can view it. Okay, we don't want them to be able to do anything else but view it. So now we're gonna copy that link and we're going to just click on this like that. I like to click on the corners there. And then I'm just gonna take my keyboard and I'm gonna hit paste. There we go. Now that entire thing is linked to our one document, okay? So now we're gonna keep doing that with the rest of them. So number two, we're gonna right click, share, we're gonna hit that. We're gonna make sure that this has changed. Anyone with the link, it can be a viewer. Copy link, click on this entire thing like that, and I'm gonna paste on my keyboard. We're gonna keep going. Share. Anyone with the link can view. Copy link. And paste. Last one. Right click, share. Perfect. Great. There we go. Okay, we don't need to link this. You could link these photos to the same website as what your listing button goes to. So we're gonna go find your listing now. I'm gonna go to my team's website. Okay. Gosh. Of course, it's not going to give me a great one. Okay, so let's click here. Let's just say it's not pending, whatever. Okay, this is our website. This is our listing on our website. So we're gonna copy and paste that website page. We're going to click our entire button. We're gonna paste again. 
And then if you wanted to make these clickable where someone were to click on the image um, and it take them to the website, then you could do that as well. Um, I don't think that's wrong because sometimes it's kind of nice to have just like a extra way to get them over to your website. So I'm just going to paste it. You can see it pops up here. I'm going to click on the photo, paste it, and paste it just like that. You could also paste it here, but then what I'm going to do here, because I don't like how it's underlined. If you want to leave that, that's fine. But I'm going to un-underlined it, but if anyone clicks on it, it will still take them to your website. Okay, so now we have everything updated. We have, let's say, our colors updated. Um, I changed out our image to us. Um, we're linked everywhere. So now we're going to just make sure everything looks okay. Here, you are going to want to change this to say your name here actually we'll just do like this and then i would put your brokerage up there too because this will be seen okay so now let's preview we're going to see what it looks like on a cell phone so there are the videos automatically playing and look if we click on it, it it is going to take us to our website which is exactly what we want Let's test these links. Perfect. 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 And perfect. Great. Those all work. Let's see if this will take us to the listing. Yes, it does. All right. Let's see. Email me. Yep. My email just pulled up. I don't think you can see it, though. Call me. It wants to open FaceTime. No. And then see if it'll take us to the website. Yes. Okay, great. So we are all linked up. We have our little links down here. Perfect. So now that we know our links work, this is what it's going to look like on a desktop. Make it a little bit bigger here for you. Again, see this is clickable, even though it doesn't look like it. So that's great. Okay, that looks good. Everything looks great to me. Awesome. So now we are ready to publish our website. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the name of the website is exactly what we want it to show up as online. Publish website up here at the right hand side. Okay, and we are not going to include any navigation um, menu. Now, here's the great thing is that you can customize your website URL by using the Canva site. Um, URLs, and then you could say the address right here instead of your name. So you could say one, two, three, main, yeah, main street city. Okay, and so then that way you could organize them based off of the address. Okay, and then publish settings, we're going to click on that. Now your website description, I recommend filling this in. So this is um, Topeka, Kansas, real estate agent, Jane Smith. Um, so that way, if anyone were to ever find this on Google, you know, this is what it's going to be um, picking up. You can also add a password if you wanted. Um, I don't think you would really need that for this. Um, you could say that you didn't want Google to find this website. Uh, with this type of landing page, I would actually probably toggle that off. Uh, since we are talking about commissions and stuff, it would probably just be best to keep this uh, really just for agents. Um, and then that is it. So we're going to click this back button up here. Make sure everything there looks good. Just double checking. Um, if you don't want this website like they have it, you can um, go here and get a new do domain and then just follow their instructions to purchase that. Okay, so we're going to publish website. Okay, great. We are now published. So this is the URL that you are now going to copy this and you are going to make the QR codes for the website. So we're going to come back here. I'm just going to search up the right ones here. Okay, so 
open up our, this is our sign that we're going to put out in the front yard next to the for sale sign. And see here, this QR code, we are going to come over to apps. Just search QR code. I just go with that first one that pops up. Okay, so this is where we're going to paste. Okay, so now we can delete this. And you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing over on your flyer. And then you can customize it here. Background color. Um, we can use the same color here. I'm just gonna paste this. Okay, background color. There we go. Now it will be the same background color as the sign. There we go. So now that we've updated our QR code, now when you scan this with your phone, it will automatically take you to our landing page. Oh, we never opened it. <laughs> okay, so here is our landing page. So now if you scan the QR code, um, this is what will pop up on your phone. And this is what it looks like on the computer. And now, as you see up here, I just want to point this out where our tabs are on your computer. This is what the template name is inside of Canva. So that's why I said it's important to name it what you want it to be named on the web, because this is where it puts it. And then we can click on our photos. So that's it. That is how you edit our Commission landing pages. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments below and always make sure you subscribe because we are updating um, our template tutorials all the time. So thank you.